guys and gals, Froggy here. Ride Tech has sent me some Delrin control arm bushings to uh, do a video on how to install them. So this is called an unboxing. You don't usually see an unboxing for performance auto parts, but I thought I'd do it anyway. This is what you get if you order these parts. Nice packing. Instructions. Okay, I'm going to lay this all out for you so you can see what you get. It's all laid out. Front on the left, rear on the right, uppers here, trunnions for the uppers, lower front, upper rear, and lower rear. And there's also a tool. I'll show you later on how it works. You can buy that separately. That's to help remove the uh, stock rubber bushings. So this is how Froggy gets the old rubber bushings out. And it's a little, I guess you'd call it a little tool that I thought up. Um, invented. I won't say I invented it. Somebody else has probably done it, but I did not see anybody do this before I did it. I just uh, came up with it after thinking about what I had to do. This is a 5 8 threaded piece. This is off of a fence post. Okay, just, you know, fence post, like chain link fence post. And this is PVC connector for PVC pipe and some nuts that fit the threaded bar. And I cut the threaded bar into several different lengths depending on what length you need to get into the inside of the control arm. Here's the tool setup. Uh, this is a rear upper control arm with the original rubber bushings in my vise and I've got a 5 8 threaded rod that's about that long and I've got one piece of the tool here and another piece here and you need a washer on each one so that you can press against you're going to press outwards this way outwards that way it, some some bushings will have a big part on one end these are about the same on each side so you could actually press this bushing either way it doesn't really matter some of the other ones you have to press them a certain way and and I'll show you another one uh, but anyway this is this is how you set the tool up and uh, let me just give you a little I'm not gonna film the whole thing being threaded but this is what you do you're just spreading the you're making the threaded rod longer, basically. Pushing up against here and here. You don't have to turn it very hard. And uh, I'm, I'm going to just uh, skip ahead. You can see on the right this bushing starting to come out. And uh, there's one thing, these two pieces of the control arm are not exactly perfectly parallel to each other. So this tool that I made, sometimes it wants to go like on a little bit of an angle one way or the other way. So sometimes you have to keep straightening it out, center each end of it on the bushing where you're pushing. Okay? And I'll show you a little bit more of the turning part. I did have to kind of relocate it. Once the bushing starts to come out, 
the whole thing goes a little bit easier. And as always in your shop, you want to use, wear eye protection using a power tool, something that makes noise. Use hearing protection. See that's coming out? Nice. Okay, let me stop a little bit there. So, you get the idea. Well, actually, it sort of popped out when I got to the end. Um, not any big deal. I wish I could have got that on the camera for you. Sorry. Uh, but uh, here's... There's your bushing, rubber bushing, original equipment out, and you didn't have to light it on fire. I've heard of some guys burning these out of the control arms. Please don't do that. Um, just make a little tool like like Froggy made, and uh, you can get them out. Here I'm using some uh, you know, purple power, some shop degreaser. You can use simple green whatever you want to clean out the control arm the hole where the, the new bushing is going to go and uh, that's pretty easy okay here we go we're putting the new Delrin bushing in I think you can see that pretty good I put a couple of pieces of wood in my vise to uh, protect the the uh, new bushing. Um, it, it's going to get a little little scuffed up anyway when you put it back in the car, um, but it's so nice that I just uh, I just did that for the heck of it. Now, if you if you start this and it goes on an angle, start over again. Don't think it's going to straighten itself out. It won't straighten itself out. You've got to get it right the first time, and then once you once you've got it going straight, it'll go right in. There we go. I could put a pipe on this, but what the heck? Frog is strong. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's in all the way. Let, uh, let me take the piece out. Uh, the the wood might fall down. Don't worry about it. There. Okay. There she is. Easy peasy. So, I'll flip it over and do the other side. Oh, baby. <clears throat> you can see, <clears throat> see if there's any gap. You can eyeball it, and uh, that looks good to me. <clears throat> so, that's how you press in a Delrin bushing from Ride Tech. And uh, I hope that helps you out. Get the old one out, get the new one in. And uh, that, that's the, I wrote on it, that's the trailing part of this control arm and the leading part. They're different sizes. Don't get your sizes mixed up. Okay, this is one final setup that I want to show you, and uh, because it's a little bit different because it has a trunnion. This is a front upper control arm, and what I've done is I've got a, a little bit of a threaded rod in here. This end's not going to go anywhere. On this end, I've got the threaded rod that goes all the way to touch the trunnion, and these washers are going to push the trunnion because the hole is smaller than the size of this uh, trunnion ear 
so this is going to push the trunnion and the bushing um, they're they're molded together um, so the bushing should come out with the trunnion still attached and I'm, I'm not going to take this one out because these are brand new T1 upper control arms and um, somebody might be able to use these who runs in a, uh, in a racing series or so has some rules where they can't change the bushings out and they have to use original equipment uh, some SECA classifications are like that so I, I'm going to not uh, take these apart but I just wanted to show you the setup so you just turn on this and it's going to push that arm that way flip it around the other way the basic principle is you cut different length rods to whatever you need you find different sleeves like this one like these you find different sleeves whatever you need the length the diameter find us all this stuff from the big box store and uh, the nuts and the washers and for like you know maybe 10 bucks maybe 20 bucks you've got a whole setup to take all those original rubber bushings off and you can uh, use your your regular uh, bench vise to press in the new bushings um, so there there it is Dirk Frog is going to wrap it up uh, I hope this helped you out Give me a thumbs up or a like if it did, and subscribe to Froggy, Froggy's channel. If you want some more, I'll be doing more. Um, I'll be getting a uh, C6 Z06 pretty soon, and I'll do an install of the C6 Delrin bushing kit, which is very similar to the C5, uh, little few little minor differences. And uh, I'll, I'll put that up um, when I get the new car. Okay? See you guys and gals. Froggy out. Bye-bye. Plus one quick final thank you to Ride Tech for providing these parts so that uh, Froggy can do a little demo for you and show you how a, uh, a guy in his garage uh, can put these parts in. Uh, pretty easy. See you later.